just gone, it's just ruined, destroyed. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy here, and welcome back to another video. Again, we're outside the shed. Again, we're in the real world. It's brilliant, fantastic, and it's also very early. I am quite tired. So at half five this morning, I set off uh, to come down to Wiltshire, where I am now, to go to Clay Pigeon, because, well, first of all, tomorrow I thought Club 100, but today we are doing something pretty, pretty crazy pretty fun a bit nervous but it's gonna be awesome trust me and that's because I've been invited here by attack motorsport to have a go on what I've dubbed their big boy cart so I'm gonna have some coffee try and wake up a little bit and we're gonna have a little chat with the guys at attack and see what today is all about right so this is Max he runs things here at the attack motorsport Max first of all, thank you for inviting me along oh it's thank you mate you. we're really enjoying running it so it's great well no one no, no one usually says that so that's a nice uh, compliment tell us a bit about the step up program this is sort of what i'm doing today yeah what's it include what's it what's it aimed at yeah so it's aimed at people who've done a bit of indoor karting or club 100 or something and they literally want to go somewhat faster you can get the real racing experience and, and the carts are this cart will be raced in a couple of weeks time so it's not a detuned hire cart you're driving and uh, you've got one of our quicker engines on there as well so you're not driving just something you're driving a, a race cart and uh, it's your chance to find out what it's like. And I think you'll find it is very yeah. different to what you're used to, isn't it? So yeah, suited up. Uh, we're going out in about 15, 20 minutes or so. We're gonna have a little chat with uh, Andy and Kieran here who's looking after you for this. Say hello, Kieran. Just to get a small idea really of what I can expect, of course, my karting experience so far has been limited to Club 100 carts. And whilst they aren't slow, I'm told these are quite a bit faster. Kieran, tell me a bit about this cart, mate. What can I expect uh, having come from, you know, Club 100? Um, well, so compared to a Club 100, um, obviously it's a Rotax engine, so technically it's the same fundamentally. Um, however, the ones that run a Club 100, obviously because it's a bit more commercial, they're um, restricted and detuned just so they can get the life out of them. Club 100 carts, I think in their current spec, make about 11 horsepower, 10 horsepower. These make about 30, and we can gear them uh, a lot more aggressively, so the power of delivery is a lot more immediate. It doesn't build like the Club 100 carts do. Weight-wise, the carts are probably 30 odd kilos lighter, depending how heavy the driver is. Probably the biggest difference, as well as the power, is just the tyres. Yeah. These tyres, I mean, if you threw them on a Club 100 car, you'd probably go second for that quicker. Normally on first days, people who haven't driven one before, we, if we say if they're getting under a 40, they're doing a good job. However, because you've got a bit more experience, I'd like to see you get down like 35, 36s. So yeah. That'd be a good aim. He has confidence, lads, which is misplaced, uh, as always, but really looking forward to it. As I said, a couple of hundred carts, a lot of fun, and the sort of one of the goals of this step up program is sort of giving people in that series like me a chance to drive something a bit quicker hopefully help them improve in club 100 does that make sense yeah i think it does also familiar face Hello. andy Hello, there he everybody. Is. This, this is andy's day job it is where he's not screaming at the master <laughs> shouting hitting hitting master yes <laughs> So we're going to be going out in a little bit. Uh, I do have a GoPro strapped in, so I'll be sort of taking you around. I uh, haven't still figured out helmet audio. It's something that we struggle with a lot in these things. So this is quite strict regulations about what you can do with your helmet, of course. Um, so I guess I'll just give you some afterthoughts uh, or just picking myself up the gravel after afterwards. We'll see. Just go at your own pace, mate. Just don't spin. Not the whole day. Come on. Come on. <laughs>
Yeah, so, not gonna lie, that went a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> And, and the good, best thing is, it's still in one piece. Yeah. For now. For now. Yeah. <laughs> so initial impressions, first time out. You can see I'm sweaty. I was only out there for like eight minutes, so not not any time at all. But it's just it's so much different from the Club 100 car. As Kieran was saying, that that thing's sort of made to last. This is made to go out in a fireball of glory, and it feels like that when you're going down the straight. Like you're still accelerating, coming down to the kink at the bottom. So much so that when you turn. The car starts to oversteer. You might have even seen it in the clip down there. Not very smooth at the moment, just trying to get used to the power, but I think that went okay first time. Didn't spin, which is good. That's the main thing. Yeah, for the first time, uh, really good. So, as we were saying earlier, what do we say, 36s for a first session? And that's what we said to do by the end of the day. So, good start. Just see how fast we can go now, I guess. As long as you don't, as long as you don't break it and give me any work to do, I don't have a problem. So after our first set of outing, you're making a change. Okay, what are you doing, mate? Uh, so, because you went a bit quicker than we expected you to for your first go, which is keep, keep saying those things, man. <laughs> keep saying those things. Unlike uh, Club 100, we can change basically everything on the cart, uh, whereas Club 100, you just sort of jump in and go. Um, so we're just changing uh, the gearing. Your gearing's really important to, um, A, how it pulls off the corners, but also your straight line speed. So it's like trying to choose between doing the whole race in fourth or fifth. Um, so if we go higher on the gear, you'll come off the corners faster. But obviously if the straight's too long, you'll run out of puff at the end. If we go down, it should give you a lot more straight line speed. It'll just keep pulling as you get towards the end of the straight. Okay, nice. I mean, it was already pretty fast at the end of the straight, dude. I don't know. So you were doing... 66? 65. 65. And normally, uh, we can do up about 70. Okay. Um, so hopefully we'll get a bit closer to that. Yeah, wouldn't be one of my videos without a spin, would it? Um, the the excuse I have is that they changed the sprocket, so I had a bit of a different torque uh, torque there, and it's fun. You buying that? I don't know. Just getting a bit too keen. Went faster still, 36-0 now. Like the thing is, I, I'm coming out of it frustrated because I know I know I could do like a probably a low 35. I just stop sliding around, but I'm just trying to find like the the correct way to throw the thing into the corner. Uh, it feels like it wants to go home with a bit of slide, but when you're then doing these. They look cool, these power slides on the way out, they aren't very fast, so it's just trying to find that um, that in-between is the difficult bit, but so far so good. This thing is it's addictive, man. It's, it's amazing how much grip it has. I'm still finding it out. I had a couple of times in that run where I sort of started to understand it, but otherwise, yeah, still got a little learning to do. But that's part of the fun. So what's the next step for me then, Kieran? Because obviously, like, not hit a wall yet, but I'm going to soon if I keep driving this way. What do you what's the next kind of step to improve now? So when you're driving these properly, that's when they're actually quite stable because the cart picks up nicely and it basically tricycles around the whole corner. So the corners where you're actually fiddling with it a little bit, it's because you're not activating the cart properly, you're not going in, activating the cart, getting it to pick up. So it's sort of like touching the ground a little bit with this, either this tire or that tire, and that just unsettles it. Um, so basically, if you actually push it a bit harder, it'll work more with you. Um, same thing you always hear the F1 drivers going on about, you know, the faster you go, the more grip you have, and it's sort of the case with these. So I think the main thing, um, fundamentally, going around, you're looking really tidy. It's just a case of building the speed into it, not slowing down as much for all the corners, just carrying more speed, basically. Um, but for first day, really, really good. That's what Kieran was saying there. I was kind of feeling a bit of that. As I was going a bit quicker, the cart was giving me a bit more. But then my body starts to think, can you actually do this? Can you hold on through there? And then next corner, I've carried so much more speed, I'm not quite sure what to do myself when I get there. Yeah, it is a bit of trial and error. I'm really lucky to have this time to do this. But now it's got to come from me. Oh, oh no, shit. Can we cheat? <laughs> yeah. Let's cheat, lads. <laughs> Sometimes quite early, just not, not very sharply. Yeah. 
if you actually carry a bit more speed in, you might start out the first floor. Because if you slow down, that would be the other side. Big improvement that time it felt like. Uh, well, I say that because I'm really struggling now to hold this camera uh, and my neck hurts a lot. Um, but jumped up half a second, which is really nice. Um, took a lot of Kieran's advice on board about deciding using the brake to help the initial turn. And in, in this in this cart compared to a couple hundred cart, if you don't have a couple hundred cart, there's such a fine line of where it's effective. If you go over the edge, like you just lose revs and this thing, it, it can just sort of power out of it. Yeah, really good. So if we have a, just look at your times there. Um, down to 35, four. Um, start of the day. If you got 36s, 35s, really good. Um, we've still got quite a bit of time left, so I think probably push through 34 now. I was joking about that at the start, wasn't I? And then yeah. That's all right. Uh, Genuinely, yeah. Genuinely, like for a first day, it's really, really good. Normally, obviously, like I say, people with not as much experience as you've got just driving in general, but people are jumping these for the first time from rental car. If they get like under a 40, normally just about average just just scraping in the 39s um, so to be doing the 35s on the first day generally really good okay so gonna go out for another session uh, probably only a couple more sessions left for me because my body is going to just disintegrate soon um, the goal really will be great to get a 34 I had a look at some footage of me coming out the last corner basically I'm shit through there um, at the moment so I'm going to try and be less shit on the advice of Kieran that's what he said just go be, be better which is fair and also you can use a lot more of the exit curb I'm not using any you can actually use quite a chunk of it so that should hopefully give me a couple of attempts and then maybe just leaning up and then a 34 might be possible but I'm going to use the excuse that I'm a bit achy now so we'll see but to be honest I'm just happy to be going out again things fun <laughs> I told you we'd do it. So that session was a little bit short, not because I crashed or anything, but um, you might have noticed on the GoPro for it, it does quite slow. The reason being is that my neck is just, just gone, it's just ruined, destroyed. That's, it's a fast right hander when you come off the horseshoes there, the second to last corner, going through that every time, and I just I couldn't keep my neck up. And I, I thought, you know what, I can keep going around and keep. F I was flailing, and the guys were saying they could see me in the seat, just like, nah, done just absolutely mad but I think it's a really good place to end off um, as uh, the guy said they we went faster and faster until they broke me works out doesn't it Kieran my man start of the video <laughs> final thoughts uh, I mean not really much to say for a first day I don't think we could have gone any better we didn't break anything uh, like you say times came down throughout the day until you started running our neck which is quite normal for a first day 35s fantastic like I say uh, normally get people who come down first time in the car and get
vehicle at a 36, so low 35s. I think, to be honest, if you turned up fresh now, um, you'd easily be in the 34s. So, fantastic. Thank you, Kieran. You're very welcome, mate. I'll put it all back to legal spec now, yeah? Well, lads, that's day done. Castle going around in the background. Actually really happy of how things went, you know. The guys have been super complimentary. That's probably because I paid them a bit of money earlier on. It was a pretty mad experience just to get experience this, you know, and just to go and drive it around. The fact, like I never appreciated what it would feel like to have your neck go. And it's a very odd sensation. You just can't keep your head up anymore. It just goes to one side, you just go all floppy. But overall, really happy of how things went. And uh, hopefully they'll invite you back at some point and then watch me be even slower. Who knows? Andy, final thoughts. Final thoughts. What today? So like I said to you earlier, we've had, when we have people down here, we don't usually see 35s. So for you to be in the 35s straight away, pretty much, lovely. Yeah, and your driving was really good. We had, you know, obviously there's lots of things to work on if you did come back, but this should put you in good stead for, you know, tomorrow, you, you know, your Club 100 tomorrow, so. In before last tomorrow. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I want to go around and keep filming them saying that so I can watch that when I'm feeling really sad. Uh, of course, a massive thank you to the guys at Attack Motorsport, uh, to Max and Andy for sort of setting things up as well and bringing me out here and making sure that my body is not usable for the race tomorrow that sort of counts. I'm here at Clay. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all next time. Bye.